The thing that concerns me most, I mean, partly we're just talking about the functioning of the government, right? We're talking about um, being being able to get some money on the line, I, you know, with the Social Security um, administrative costs, uh, the uh, IRS. Um, it's not just that you know we're giving the IRS resources now that will help it crack down on tax evaders, and that's one of the things Republicans want to cut. Uh, the other thing is, if you have a question or a problem with your taxes, it's gotten suddenly a lot easier to get hold of somebody at the IRS, which was in, still is to some extent in desperate straits. Um, but what really bothers me, where we are right now, is that the programs that apparently are sacrosanct are programs for the elderly. Medicare, Social Security uh, are off the table. They're being protected. And a lot of the stuff that's discretionary is really things like uh, uh, programs that support uh, children, that support education, that support nutrition for the young, which is the future. So what's happening right now is that in the effort to hold down headline spending right now, we're actually kind of disinvesting in in the country's future. And that's that's pretty alarming. So, so that is a, a terribly important and very unpopular point, going back to the politics for a moment here. And that is when you say, let's cut things for the elder. That's never very popular. I'm elderly at this point. But at the same time, we're not really investing in future growth, as I understand it, by paying more, for example, on Social Security, whereas investing in education or children or infrastructure could increase the future growth. To what extent do we need to be concerned about growing ourselves out of whatever debt issues we have? Well, to a large extent, that's going to happen anyway. I mean, I, when I say you need to adjust for inflation, you really also need to ask about growth. And, you know, the, the example I always like to use is, you know, how did we pay off the debt from World War II? And the answer is we didn't. Uh, uh, we had slightly higher debt when John F. Kennedy w took office than we did on, uh, you know, when, when, uh, when we declared victory over Japan. Um, but the debt had dwindled. Uh, it was... You know, it was less than half the share of GDP that it had been at the end of World War II because we had a growing economy and a little bit of inflation over that period. And that's largely, we're still in a world where we, we really are already set to, if not exactly grow out of our debt, at least not have it grow very much you know, uncontrollably unless we do you know, some really uh, even, even more irresponsible things than we do now.